Portals, 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 rocket everywhere! But which portal is right for you? Let's talk about it on today's Azan. Welcome to another issue of Ask Zanata Anything About Zoho. I'm Greg Belknap, head of Zoho Dev here at Zanata. Today's episode is inspired by a question from one of our viewers, Amore, who asks, Is it best to use the client portal in Zoho Project or Zoho Creator? That is an excellent question, Amore. Unfortunately, I'm not quite sure how to give you the right answer because there are a lot of different factors that go into choosing a client portal. So to try to help answer your question or uh, other people's questions about portals, I'm going to go over the most popular client portal solutions for Zoho, some of the pros and cons of each, uh, and some of the best use cases uh, for the different portals. So first up, let's jump in with the native Zoho CRM client portal. This portal allows your CRM contacts to view, create, edit, and delete records that are associated to them. Of course, you can set permissions about which fields and modules they can or can't access. You can also remove the ability to create, edit, or delete, or any combination of those. The CRM portal is really good if you need to collect a lot of information from your customers and you want them to be able to provide it for themselves, or if you want to be able to surface CRM data to your customers at their convenience, rather than them having to submit a request for information. Now, pricing for the CRM portal is a two-edged sword. Uh, the first 10,000 contacts in your portal are included for free in your CRM subscription. However, if you need to add other types of users, such as leads or any custom module records, then those cost $5 per user per month. Could get pretty pricey pretty quick. So if you only need your portal users to use the contact module and the records that are related to those contact records, then the CRM portal is a great economic choice. Next up, let's talk about the Zoho Desk Help Center. The Help Center is a portal for creating, viewing, and tracking support tickets. It also grants users access to your knowledge base and allows a community forum where your customers can interact with one another. The Zoho Desk Help Center is ideal if direct communication is required between you and your customers, or if you have an extensive knowledge base that could answer most of your clients' questions. Uh, the Help Center is included for free in every Zoho Desk plan. Uh, you can also set up federated login for your Help Center, meaning that your customers can sign in with their Zoho, Microsoft, Google, LinkedIn, or even Facebook account, assuming anyone still is using Facebook. But next up, Let's talk about Zoho Books. Uh, this obviously is very niche. It's exclusively for the sales process, looking at documents related to financial transactions. A customer in books can view and approve and sign quotes. They can pay invoices or leave comments on sales documents or look at any previous payments they've made or outstanding statements. If you are a B2B business with long recurring engagements with your customers, then the books portal is probably right up your alley. You do also have the option for a separate vendors portal, uh, assuming that you're on a Zoho One plan or a premium books plan or higher. This allows your vendors to upload bills directly into your system, as well as view statements for any and all past transactions. Now, let's look at Zoho Projects. First off, there's probably going to be some confusion if you go to look at the help documentation for Zoho Projects, because Portal is the word that Zoho Projects uses to describe the organization that owns the Zoho Projects instance. So a portal user in Zoho Projects would be somebody who belongs to your organization, whereas a client user is one of your customers. Client users can be given different profiles with different permissions. Uh, for example, you could create a profile that allows one type of client user to create tasks, task lists, and milestones within a project and another profile that can create tasks, but not task lists or task milestones. You can also give client users access to project forums to discuss issues with portal users. Uh, some drawbacks of the Zoho Projects client user is that each project is independent of one another, meaning that if you want a client user to have access to multiple projects, you have to add them to each project individually. Uh, if you wanted to be able to add users automatically or dynamically, you would have to write custom code. Uh, also, client users are unavailable on the free projects plan. They're four to five dollars per user per month on the premium plan and nine to ten dollars per user per month on the enterprise plan. If you have a lot of users, 
that can get really pricey really quick. Finally, let's take a look at the behemoth that is the Zoho Creator customer portal. The reason why I call it a behemoth is because you can do anything you want in Creator, but you also have to build everything from scratch in Creator. Uh, you can configure which forms, reports, and pages that your users have access to. You can create uh, conditional pages and forms that present different information depending on a user's profile or even information contained within their profile. You can create custom HTML pages with dynamic reports. This is you building everything yourself from the ground up. Basic form report and creation can be done just using the drag and drop interface. But if you really want to unlock Zoho Creator's true potential and get as much value out of it as you can, you got to be able to write Deluge or JavaScript code. With Zoho Creator, you buy user licenses in bulk. The smallest amount you can buy is 250 portal users for $100 a month, which equates to about $0.40 cents per user per month. The unit price drops the more users you have, with a maximum of 100,000 users for $10,000 a month, bringing the price down to $0.10 cents per user per month. So the more users you have, the cheaper it is per user. So if you have potentially hundreds or thousands of users, Zoho Creator is your best. So going back to Amore's original question, if the comparison is strictly between Zoho Projects and Zoho Creator, I'd say it depends on how many of Zoho Projects features you need compared to how much time and money you have towards building a Creator app to replicate those necessary project features. If your clients love seeing a roadmap with Gantt charts, milestones, due dates, uh, then recreating those as a creator is going to take you several months to really put together it in the same way. However, if you can boil down your portal needs to a few forms and reports, then Zo Creator is a cheaper and far more customizable option. Plus, it's a system that you can continue to build on for years rather than waiting for Zoho to add new features to Zoho Project. Uh, but before we go, I did want to mention one more option. This is a third-party option called Z Portals. Z Portals is a third-party vendor with a customizable web client built to integrate with several key Zoho apps. If you use multiple Zoho apps to interact with your clients, uh, then a unified portal through Z portals could be an awesome experience. Uh, they have integrations with CRM, books, inventory, billing, sign, work drive. Uh, the pricing ranges anywhere from $50 a month to $400 a month, depending on your user base size. All of Z portals features and connections are available on every plan. So just the number of users is the only rate limiting factor in terms of price. Uh, for more info on what specific features are supported in each of these apps, visit uh, zportals.com. That'll do it for today's Azaz. Uh, please, uh, I would love to hear in the comments below your experiences with uh, various Zoho portal solutions. Uh, which ones have worked? Uh, which ones have been frustrating? Uh, and of course, if you need help implementing any of these for your business, don't hesitate to visit Zanata.com and click on Book a Meeting to meet with a member of our sales team. If you like the video, we'd appreciate a like and subscribe. Follow us here on the YouTube channel. And uh, we'd also love to see you over in Club Zanata. It's our online forum where you can share code, discuss problems with other users, uh, even get some questions answered by the Zanata team. We'll see you in the next video.